So can we speak about how Palafin is fundamentally a superhero and the, the concept alone just inspires me to really like this Pokemon because first what, first thing I saw it, I, like, I heard the concept that it's it's a Pokemon that wants to get out when it comes back, it is now tied up, it is the Superman thinking about and I'm just where is the glasses of the original four because I I need this in my life so much. Now it's an interesting Pokemon stat wise because it has issues but I'm not sure there are that big. Its main issue is in its ability, Zero to Hero is basically that you need to switch out to change your form. Which means you have a fourth turn where you can either stay in as a weaker Pokemon or you switch out, lose one turn only to get back stronger than ever. This guy learns flip turns, it's actually a very viable option. That said, it's base that are, as stated, quite not really that impressive. You got fair, fair HP at 100, 72 and 62 in its defenses, while 70 and 53 in its residual attacks. Uh, but yeah, the speed here is quite nice, 100. I'll, that'll solve a lot. But it is the form, it is the buff mode, the 200 base stats mode that I really want to talk about. Its HP and speed are pretty much the same, however it does get a lot more bulk at 97 in defense and 87 in special defense. Definitely soaks a lot more hits combined with that high HP stat. But as you guys can see, it gets an immense boost in its offensive stats. 160 in its attack, that's ferocious, that's dangerously that's awesome that's maybe a bit too much but also it's special defense at 106 that is a lot of special attack to capitalize on and it might just be that this mod can just use all of it when it decides to do so while water soul typing is not the most scariest offensively it is a good defensive typing and you know 116 in its attack or it's just attack stats alone might actually not necessarily care if it is a good offensive type or not because it would still sting a lot but however what we have to keep track on is that due to it being a soul award type you know what you're out for you are definitely not deal dealing with green stuff and grass and electric types you don't want to deal with those and i mean it is a superhero it makes sense i watch now spider-man to know that green goblin is not really a great guy or electron for that matter so i get it however palafin does have this kind of weird thing going for it where it doesn't necessarily learn a lot of really good moves. However, it has a signature move, which is basically a more buffed um, Aqua Jet, which is Jet Punch, or basically it is the Grassy Glide without the terrain. It is a 60 base power. Most likely, this is a move that will be used a lot with this mod, even though it is speed enough already. Uh, it also gets uh, the Wave Crash, which is a Flare Blitz off of the war types, which I think would work great for it. Uh, but on that, it doesn't get a lot of really good moves. It definitely can capitalize on Encore, you can capitalize on Flip Turn um, to gain momentum, but none of these moves creates a good Pokemon, and that kinda spills over to its Egg moves, as for its Egg moves it just gets Counter, Haze, Tickle, Bounce, and for some reason Boom Burst. I, I think Boom Burst could be nice on it, it like I said, it has fair special attack, but that's, there is nothing here that makes, you know, you see Gastrodon and it's GG for this mod, right? It, 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 there, there is no coming back on this, as far as I'm aware. However, the TM solves it all. Honestly, like the TMs are basically making this guy viable. If it wasn't for that, this mod wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't work. <laughs> it's wrong, but it's, it's a cap on how good that can be. So first and foremost, because it's offensive moves, um, it gets luckily Ice Punch. It gets Ice Beam instead, you want to capitalize on that. It gets the Waterfall, you want to have not recall <laughs> on your moves. It gets Outrage for some reason, which I guess... I I've seen superheroes go race mode, but then, then they're mostly evil, right? Uh, it gets Close Combat, Sun Headbutt, Iron Head, Grass Nod, Draining Kiss, and of course Terra Blast. They, they need Terra Blast, but more importantly, Close Combat. This guy gets the full package. Um, water and Fighting fills pretty much the most, and... If it doesn't work, the filler moves alone will solve the worst. Usually Ice Punch will be just that. And it, it's not only that, it has supporting moves to kind of keep going at it, so it makes it great. For example, we have setup moves in Bulk Up. Like I said, this mod is kind of thick already, so Bulk Up will allow it to be, well, <clears throat> thicker, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, it also has supporting moves in, in your Encore, Taunt. Um, 
Basically, this spawn in theory can be the full package. It even has draining punch to be able to kind of get some type of recovery as it keeps its onslaught going. Quite frankly, I don't know the limitations of this Pokemon viability device. The only thing I know is that it has an unfortunate aspect that it has to waste a turn before it becomes what it becomes. And if you're real unlucky, this that could be a setup move for your opponent who knows the first stage of this Pokemon is not going to intimidate them. It's when it comes back that it might be a bit troublesome. Yeah, this is basically the best war types introduced in quite some time, and while it isn't a supportive one, it is very clear cut, a wall breaker and potential speedier sweeper. Two types of priority, gen punch is the only one you're gonna use, and like I said, it's not even sure you need that with a 100 base speed, but all over, it works great as a special attacker, as offensive attacker, or both, and um, like I said, it has very few flaws, and I really can't wait to use this myself, but you go nuts, whatever you put on it will work, and I think the most basic set that will work for this Life Orb just hurts stuff wherever it goes. If I had to pick, I would say Choice Scarf will also be great to do the flip turn and then come back and really start hurting stuff. It is just a 160 base, uh, or a 160 attack that just, it going to make teams have a hard time switching in this oak damage for this guy, which is why I think Choice Scarf works, because it is not an easy feat coming in and trying to soak something that is that powerful, it just, it ain't happening. Um, so that's it guys, hope you enjoyed this little short video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this, make sure to write down below which mod you want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, bye.